So today's lesson is on writing an equation from a graph or from a table. So the equations that we write today are going to be in the form y equals mx plus b, and if you remember that is called slope-intercept form. Um, hopefully you remember, since we spent so much time on this, that M stands for the slope, and B is the y-intercept, also thought of as the initial value. So we are going to write equations um, of a line given the slope and the y-intercept. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So let's see, I have a line that has a slope, that means m equals negative 2, and a y-intercept of 5, that means b equals 5. So I'm just going to take that and replace the letter m with a negative 2, so y equals negative 2 times x, you just attach the x, a number smashed right next to a variable, remember that means multiply, plus the y-intercept, b, which is 5. Let's try it again. My next equation has a slope of 3 fourths and a y-intercept or initial value of negative 3. That is the equation y equals m, replace the m with the number, 3 fourths, x, plus negative 3. Now I caution you with this because remember, we typically don't write plus a negative. Plus a negative is the same thing as minus. So these would be the two equations that you have written given the slope and the y-intercept for a graph. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually look at a graph. So I want to look at this graph, and I want to find the slope of the graph, and then I want to find the y-intercept, and that will let me write an equation. Remember that the slope is the letter m, and the y-intercept is the letter b. So I have to count slope, and that's our activity, that's what our lesson was about yesterday. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify my two ordered pairs, and I am going to see how much I rise, and then how much I run to the right. So I actually rise one, two, three, four units, that's positive because I'm going up, and then I run to the right, one, two, three units. So my slope is 4 thirds. Now I need to look and see where my graph crosses the y-axis. That's called the y-intercept. And this graph crosses the y-axis at negative 5. So my equation, written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, is actually y equals my slope, 4 thirds, x minus 5. So we're going to try that again. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. So again, I want to find the slope of my graph, the slope of my line. So when I look at the two ordered pairs that have been identified, I see that I have to go down, which is going to be negative, and then run to the right. So down, let's see. I go down one, two, which is negative two, and then I run to the right, one, two, three, four, which means my slope is negative two over four. However, if you leave it like that, you would lose half of a point because that can be reduced to negative one over two. Remember, slope is a fraction, and you should automatically write all fractions 
as its simplified form. Keep it in a fraction form. It can still be improper, but it should be simplified, reduced as much as possible. Okay, let's look at the y-intercept. Where does this graph cross the y-axis? Well, let's see. This graph crosses the y-axis right here at 1. So the equation y equals m, my slope. Ooh, what happened to my negative 1 half there? Negative 1 half x plus 1. So we know how to write an equation in slope-intercept form if we're given the slope and the y-intercept. If we're given a graph where we can find the slope and look and find the y-intercept. And we also are going to learn how to write an equation given a table. Given a table of values. So remember, if we're given a table of values, the first thing that we want to do is find the slope change in y over the change in x. So what happened here? Negative 3 to negative 2, well that's plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So my change in y is a positive 2. What happened on the x side? Plus 1, plus 1, and so on. So my slope is 2 over 1, which actually reduces to 2. The second thing that you need to look for is you need to discover the y-intercept. And remember, the y-intercept happens, b, the y-intercept happens when x equals 0. So my y-intercept is 1. So that would be the equation y equals 2x plus 1. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is identify the y-intercept for this next example. b equals 3. And this example, b equals negative 1. Now let's find the slope. Minus 0.5. And that's continued throughout, minus 0 0.5 plus 1. So a negative 0 0.5 over 1 is the same thing as a negative 0 0.5, which is the same thing as negative 1 half. So you can either leave your slope as a decimal or a fraction. I would only leave it as a decimal if it's a terminating decimal. So the equation y equals negative 0 0.5x plus 3, or y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. When I look at my second example and I calculate the slope, it looks like I added 9, and then I added 6, and then I added 9, and I added 6. Looks like I added 3, 2, 3, 2. So my slope is 9 over 3, or 6 over 2, which all reduces to... 3 over 1 or 3. So what is this equation? Well, remember that my y-intercept is negative 1, so it's y equals 3x minus 1. So that's what you're going to work on today. Um, primarily, you are going to um, do those three things. Write an equation given the slope and the y-intercept. Look at a graph. Determine the slope find the y-intercept and write an equation, and lastly, you'll have an example using a table of values. Good luck.